In this lesson, we'll be talking about why you may want to learn to hack. Sometimes you may want to hack just for fun. As discussed previously, hacking is a tradition that goes back several decades at MIT, even preceding the computer-related definition of hacking. MIT has a long and storied history of hacking, sometimes of a computer-related nature, which in this case happens to be true, sometimes of a non-computer-related instance. Here, MIT's homepage has been hacked, or you might say defaced, to indicate that Disney is buying MIT. This was an April Fool's Day prank in 1998. And again, this is just kind of for the fun of it. Sometimes you want to make a social or political point. In this case, again, MIT. Bill Gates donated some money that allowed MIT to have a new building. He was coming to MIT to visit and to speak. And the Microsoft Windows systems that were installed in the entryway at the building were hacked to be running Linux instead. And you can see here Tux the Penguin is saying, Welcome to the William H. Gates Building. And again, that's some students who decided they wanted to make a point about Linux and Microsoft and Windows to Bill Gates. Sometimes you hack just for the challenge. Here's an example, again at MIT, where some students turned the facade of a building into a Tetris game board. This was a reasonably difficult hack, and the students went after it just for the challenge of completing it, just so they could have some pride of ownership and to be able to say that they were able to pull this off in spite of its difficulties and its challenges and all of the obstacles and planning that had to go into it. And they were able to pull it off, and they have those bragging rights now. So that was one that was just for the challenge of doing it. Sometimes you want to hack to prevent theft. And this is where we get more specifically into computer-related hacking. You'll see a lot of articles and stories in the news over the last few years about cybercrime. And here's an example. Data theft compromised fewer than 1.5 million cards for global payments. So there are some attackers who got into this company, Global Payments, and they were able to pull about a million and a half credit card numbers during an intrusion there. So what you may want to do is you may want to learn how to hack in order to find holes in your own systems or applications or your employer systems or applications so that you can fix those holes and prevent these compromises from happening because of the reputational hit that your company would have to take or because of the loss of customers or because that loss of customers may eventually lead to the company going out of business, which means you lose your job. So here's a good reason to hack. You may want to find all of the problems that exist in your systems before putting them out and deploying them so that you can keep these attackers from getting in and stealing critical or sensitive information. Sometimes you may want to hack to get there before the bad guys. Same sort of idea as the last one we were just talking about. Here's some attack code that was published for Critical Internet Explorer Flaw. There are a number of people in the world who go out looking for these flaws. They call themselves security researchers. They get in touch with vendors after they've found a flaw or a bug and work with the vendor to get it fixed. What they end up with is a bit of a reputation. They get a name for themselves. That name recognition may end up getting them a job or some speaking engagements or a book deal. Any number of ways that you could cash in on name recognition from finding these sorts of bugs and getting them fixed. So you want to get there before the bad guys. You may think you're helping out a vendor. You may want to just make a name for yourself. And you want to find these sorts of bugs before the bad guys do. Because the thing about the bad guys finding them is they don't announce them. They don't get them fixed. And that makes everybody a little less secure. Finally, you may want to protect yourself. Hacked companies fight cyber criminals. This is a news headline from June 18th, 2012. We're starting to see these sorts of news headlines show up as companies are starting to retaliate against attackers. In order to retaliate against attackers, you need to be able to have the same sorts of skills and techniques and knowledge and experience that those attackers have. 
or your company may want you to learn to hack, or the company may want to bring in people who are skilled at these sorts of activities so that they can attack the attackers. And hopefully you end up with a more steely exterior and you get a reputation for not being a company that people want to go after. And those are several reasons why you may want to hack.